How are you doing today? Great, thank you, I'm well. Great, and I know who you are, but for the audience who does not, Katie? That's right, I'm and Katie Sandridge with Painted Lady Pottery. Good, and you do you have some beautiful work. Thank you. I must say so myself. Thanks. Now, with that said, um, what's your art background? Well, I am not formally trained as an artist. I've been a full-time mom. That was my goal in life, and I have done that well. And my boys are now teenagers, so it allowed me to begin a new season in life. I call myself a post-40 creative. I, start, I use that opportunity to start making whatever I come across and I took a class in pottery and it kind of just a snowball from there I became obsessed instantly and I never looked back okay what inspired your creativity well uh, I I just love the world around me and as most artists as soon as we see something of beauty that we want to capture we just we just need to use the skills that we've come across to make it out of our art whatever medium that tends to be for me it's ceramics so I, I love to capture the the desert palette in my pottery and uh, basically whatever you know could be a a piece of light on the sidewalk and most artists will tell you that we just we have to try and capture it so that's your motivation mm -hmm. Perfect. now what motivates you to create well like i said I, I just love the process of creating i i never knew that i was a ceramic artist like i said i i tried it once and i it took off so um, now that I, I have more and more skills been building, I, I really enjoy that process of, of trying to accomplish representation of something that I see in the world and trying to capture it. What's the strongest influence in your work? Well, I would definitely say the Desert Palette. I, I'm from Washington State originally, from the Pacific Northwest. So when I moved to California, it was like I was dropped on a whole other planet and all these cactuses and sand and everything was so foreign to me. So that coincided with my beginning my ceramic journey. So that's uh, it's kind of intertwined in my heart. So I make a lot of desert themed items like my ceramic cactuses that I brought with me here today. Okay. Now, how do you de uh, define success as an artist? Oh, success as an artist, uh, it's different for me. I'm, I'm not, like I said, I'm not uh, professionally trained as an artist. I didn't go to art school. So um, basically a good day for, for art for me is when I can make more. So if I'm having a good day selling, that means room in my garage for more things that I can create. <laughs> I understand. Now, has your style changed over time? Definitely. I think I'm getting more confident in my abilities as a ceramic artist, and that's allowing me more freedom to have success in making what I'm envisioning. My, my pieces exist in my imagination first, and it's using my skills and my hands to bring it into real life is becoming more of an accomplished accomplishable thing for me lately so that's been really lovely and I'm trying to listen to myself more with that confidence I've been able to hone in on what my particular style and my artist voice is I've noticed lately that I I love the look of the raw clay the unglazed unpainted uncolored raw clay so once I incorporate that into more of my pieces it um it really feels a lot more like me, and, and I like that. So your styles have changed over, over time? Definitely, now that I've gained that confidence and those skills, and then it allows me to, to listen to that voice inside me that I think all artists have. We have that, that little voice, but it takes a lot to, to stop and listen. So how do you seek out opportunities as an artist to show and sell your work? Well, uh, this lovely museum organization um, is, has been a wonderful local resource. I'm actually exhibiting a piece at the Ontario airport right now. My river sculpture, thank you. That's quite an accomplishment. Thanks, it's, it's been through the, the work of the Chapin Museum that's organized that program. It's been really fun to, I've had lots of, of people come through town, through the airport traveling and they've contacted me on Instagram 
mean, I'm saying that they saw my piece and it's been, it's been really special opportunities. So that's been lovely. And I do a lot of selling online. I have an Etsy shop and a website and um, that helps me reach a lot of, of desert loving people all over the world, amazingly enough. So that's been really fun. Okay. Now, what's your, what's your, I know you, what is your connection to Ontario and surrounding communities? Sure. I'm local here in Claremont. I've been living here for about four or five years now. Like I said, I came from Washington State to, to Claremont and my kids are there in school. And um, it's just a lovely community here in the, in the Inland Empire. Okay. So what do you enjoy most about participating in Ontario's Festival of the Arts? This is my first year here and it's been phenomenal. I've done a lot of events around Southern California and the, the planning and devotion to the artists that are here at this event has just been really unique. That having the materials like the pop-up tent and the tables available for us and all set up when we arrive in the morning and having the volunteers who are there to help us load and unload our car is just, it's really a, an upper caliber of events. And then on top of that, I love that it's art focused. You know, a lot of events um, have all sorts of different different vendors, but this is specifically art. And you can tell that, that the caliber of people that are here are all like minded. And that's a really special group to be a part of. So I've really enjoyed it this year. I'm sure we really appreciate you coming out. And I want to thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. Thank you. And good luck in your accomplishment, especially with the airport. And I look forward to seeing more of your work in the future. And I'm definitely going to stop by your booth to see more of your work. Thank you. Thanks again for coming out. And once again, your, your full name, your name again? I'm Katie Sandridge with Painted Lady Pottery. Thank you so much. Thanks. Take care. Thank you.